My correct loving and wonderful people, how on a day today? Happy weekend to everybody. Today, I know, understand, no, I got a sad news this morning. I said, let me bring it up to you so that we can put our hands together and pray for a popular Nigerian pastor, Pastor Biodun Fato Yimbo. According to report, he has been battling with stroke. Stroke is never a good thing at all. They said he has been battling with stroke for over seven months. When I went to his page on Instagram, I noticed the last time he posted was on the 17th of April 2022. If you check April to now, how many months do we have? I think it should be that seven months or more. This man has been battling with this. According to the report that came, let me read the report for you. According to JJ Niger blog, Reverend Biodun Fato Yimbo, founder of Koza Church, is gradually recovering from stroke after seven months battle. Fato Yimbo has not been seen in public since April when he reportedly had stroke. He is presently in Manchester with some family and church members for a crusade. This is the picture while in Manchester with family and church members for a crusade. If you take a look at the middle, that is the reverend himself, who used to be a very handsome, good-looking man. But because of the challenges, look at how he is looking. Take a look at Reverend Biodun when he is not challenged with anything. This is the young man who is passing through what we have heard today. And taking a look at his picture, you know that, yes, something is wrong somewhere. We pray that healing comes fast. This is the last post he made when Dr. Omar Opai visited his church in April. If you go through his Instagram page, you will discover that this is the last time he posted mm -hmm. from that April till today he has not posted anything on social media. If he has not posted, do you believe that all is well? If all is well, nothing will stop him from posting. So definitely, from the report, all is not well. But we thank God that recovery is coming very fast, according to the report also. And we also pray. Let us still join hands together and pray. This is a pastor, a model. This is a pastor that people look up to. He is a role model to so many people. If you go to that church, I've been in that church before. In fact, his dressing alone tells you that cleanliness is next to godliness. He is just, oh my God, we pray and we thank God that God has started answering our prayers, answering people's prayers. He's recovering very fast according to the report we got. Oh my God. This is what somebody posted in reactions to what is happening to our Nigerian popular pastor. This person, Nelson Hood, said, please, let's check on our health, please. This pastor, Biodun Fato Yimbo pics I just saw is so scary in a bag. May he fully recover and live more years in Jesus' name. Oh, more guys, I beg, let's update on our health, please. Oh, more God, please. Yes, there's need to always check on your health. Sometimes you may think you're looking healthy. You may think you're good. You may think everything is fine, but something is eating up inside your system. By the time you go to medical checkup, then they use their machine, you know, they diagnose you. They'll see that, okay, something is growing up. And if you start battling it on time, it becomes better than when it strikes on you. So it is very, very good for us to check our health. My correct loving and wonderful people, please, you guys should always check your health. I know you are doing it. Keep doing it and tell others who feels they are too much or their body is okay. Also advise them to keep checking their body medically. Okay, look at what happened to one of popular Nigerian gospel singer, Sami Okosu. Just suddenly, we just heard that he has gone. Okay, my correct loving and wonderful people. The report that came about Sami Okposo says, Popular Nigerian gospel singer Sami Okposo died in the early hours of Friday. Multiple sources report. According to report, the singer who recently made headlines following a cheating scandal slum and died at his home on Friday morning. Can you imagine that? Slum and pie. It means something is eating up into his system. He feels he's strong. He has been going out doing all other things. It's just slum and pie, slum and left. It means something has been going on because he didn't check his health. He didn't check his health. So one of the most important thing as we are going out hustling, making money, making waves, making 
news on internet we should also remember to have rest we should also remember to check our system check our body to see that it is functioning very well and also the kind of life we live you're a gospel singer you're impacting life why will you still go and be running into all this kind of crookery business it's not good all this crookery sometimes because the way you're doing your things the devil is watching once you enter crookery the devil can strike so it's better to live a straightforward life with what you have accepted that you're going to do stop all crookery because sometimes all this crookery could lead you to what you cannot survive in fact crookery movement has cost this man pie his pie is linked to that all those crookery movement he was doing my correct loving and wonderful people that is not the main topic of our today's uh, report so let us leave it for now and move ahead to still visit some issues about our popular pastor oh a role model a pastor with swags a swagalicious pastor who is today passing through some health challenges but thank god is recovering very fast thank god nothing terrible happens to him so many Nigerians have reacted to this post. Let us take a look at some of those reactions. The first person said, I thank God, say, man, no be God. For everyone saying it's nemesis. May nemesis cash up with every of your bad deeds. Now person, when he don't touch with you, no one know tomorrow. He who has not sinned should cast the first stone. The second person here said, I don't know him. And I have never been to Koza Church before, but those pictures speak louder. I pray for mercy on his behalf. God will touch him and make him whole again. This person said I had to go see his page and found out that he posted last in April. I hope he is doing good though. Looks different from what we have been saying. It's well. While the other person here said, may God's mercy prevail. This person said, this doesn't look good. It is well with him. Never judge any man or play God's role. Any Larry, Kosie, Dalto, Molao. Let's watch our ultrances in this situation. Where is our humanity? Never make jest of a man's downfall. You don't even know your own tomorrow. I wish him quick recovery. It is well with him. May God have mercy. May God see him too. May he recover very fast and come back to the ministry. He will never ever pass through this kind of situations in the mighty name of Jesus again. Please, all what we need to do at this time is let us join our hands and pray that God should help this man. God should have mercy on this man. Let us forget whatever that has happened. Whether he did good or he did bad, we should just forget about that and have the mind, the godly mind to pray for this young man, this pastor. At least he has touched lives in one way or the other. He has assisted, he has helped in one way or the other. My correct loving and wonderful people, at this point I want to say thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next update that comes away till we meet again. Same station. Bye.